Good evening, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Bearded IT Dad. Tonight, we are going to talk about how to lab for your CCNA certifications or really any network certifications. So stay tuned because we're going to talk about that and more after this. If you're like me and studying for your A plus certification or any other IT certification, make sure and check out Pluralsight. With over 5,000 different IT courses to offer and key tools such as practice exams and mobile content, Pluralsight is one of the leading IT e-learning platforms. Use the link in the description to receive a free 10-day trial. Good evening, everyone, and th again, thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Bearded IT Dad. Tonight, we are talking about how to lab for your CCNA certification, that is your Cisco Certified Network Analyst certification. So, and also, really, this can apply to any other networking certification, and we'll kind of go into that a little bit later in the video. And then at the end of this, we are actually going to open up the chat to everyone here. You can ask questions about studying for your CCNA or any other certification or any other IT related questions. So with that said, let's dive right on in. So the CCNA certification is really a, an entry level certification to get into the networking world. If you have any interest in networking and would like to become a network engineer, a network administrator, the CCNA is really your foothold into that world. So how to study. There are several different ways to study out there. There is textbooks. There is online e-learning platforms such as Pluralsight, as you guys saw in the beginning of this video. There is also... Uh, CBT Nuggets, uh, IT Pro TV, Network Chuck is coming out with a free uh, YouTube series. Uh, you should go check him out if you haven't checked out Network Chuck here on YouTube yet. He is an awesome and very knowledgeable guy. Um, but And there's even Cisco offers this course through their NetAcad program. So th there are several different ways to study for the CCNA. But anyone who has taken the CCNA will tell you, you have to lab for the certification. And what do I mean by lab? You actually have to practice the skills you learn before you actually go and take your exam. You actually have to get your hands dirty. And there's several different ways to do this. Um, some of the e-learning platforms such as CBT Nuggets I know does, uh, some Pluralsight, and also I believe IT Pro TV, they actually offer labs environments and different practice labs for you to go out and use with their as as part of their service. Uh, Cisco, if you go through their NetAcad, uh, one thing they offer is Packet Tracer. It is an emulation software where it emulates the actual hardware. Uh, it is a great tool and you don't actually have to go through Cisco's NetAcad course to get Packet Tracer for free. And we'll dive into that in a little bit. So another way, and it is very, I think one of the best ways, because this is the way I used to lab, is actually going out and buying physical hardware. What do I mean by that? Here, let me show you. Wasn't quite ready. So this here is a 48 port cisco switch it is beautiful it's one of my many switches i have i bought this switch off of ebay for about twenty dollars and i have several of these and i actually have links down in the description where you can find very similar switches to this on amazon um and when you are looking at physical equipment to take the ccna don't go broke. You don't need the newest and bestest thing out there. Buy used. Buy a used switch, a used router. If you can afford it, buy two routers and two switches, so four total. Buy them and actually use them in your internet setup at home. That way you get real world practice 
where if you do something wrong and break this switch, your internet goes down. That's the pressure you're going to feel times a million when you're doing this in the real world. So use this in your actual network infrastructure. These switches are amazing. Um, like I said, I have several of these now. This is even has a PoE uh, power supply on the back of it. This is a hefty, really big switch. What I love about this for the CCNA is you literally get to touch, you get a feel, you get to actually connect your wires into the ports. This is the real deal. This is the closest you will ever get short of landing a job in networking to being able to study for your CCNA. This is an actual switch. This runs actual current IOL firmware, software. This is the way to go, but it's not right for everyone. If you, let me set that down there. If you're limited on space, if you are limited on budget, if you are limited on time, an actual physical switch might not be the best for you. So that brings me back to Cisco's Packet Tracer. And here, let's go ahead and pull it up and so I can show you guys what it looks like. By the way, hi KevTech, thank you for joining. Hi Landshark, how's it going? Another night here. By the way, if you guys haven't checked out, we now have a beautiful Discord server. Go over there, links to that in the description. We are actually running a current giveaway for our first ever merch. You go over there, join our Discord server, and hit this little icon down here. You will be entered to win the first ever Bearded IT Dad sticker. Kind of a shameless plug there. So, all right. So, oh, we're not talking about that yet. Cisco's Packet Tracer. Cisco actually offers a free, 100% free online course, a 10 hour course on how to use this software. And if you have the time and you are studying for your CCNA, by all means, take this course. It is super helpful. You can just sign up, uh, it's in English only, um, and you actually get a certificate of completion. Um, when you are looking for a job, that probably won't equate to much, uh, that kind of certificate, but it will make studying for the CCNA that much better. So, especially when, you know, you learn all the ins and out of Packet Tracer. So, let's jump right on into this. This here, this here is Cisco's Packet Tracer. It is a free network emulation software. There's an emphasis on emulation. There's another software on the market called GNS3 where it actually runs Cisco iOS images and you can actually run a true command line. This here, this network is pretending. This is an emulation. Now, as you just saw there, it doesn't say, you know, with that said, you can hover over all the objects. You still have the same interfaces. You can click on them. And look, there is a picture of this router, what it actually looks like, the actual port. You can adjust the configurations. You can actually get into the CLI and use the CLI of this router. So you might say, well, Dakota, why should I go out and buy expensive hardware? Why can't I just download this free software, you know, called Packet Tracer and study for my CCNA and lab that way? You absolutely can. And it is a great way to study for your CCNA. But if you want to take your studying to the next level, go out and buy this hardware, tinker around with it. It is a great way to learn. But Packet Tracer is amazing. What you can do. So let's just kind of break down this image we got right here. So up here at the top, you can see we have our cable modem, cable modem, our gateway device. That here is connected. Well, doesn't look like it's truly connected because our router does not have a configuration, but it is connected to our router. Our router is our it segments our gateways. It segments our broadcast domain. 
And that there is connected to the switch here. This is a 24 port switch, Cisco switch. See, you have the view of it right here, the front and back. Let's see if I can zoom in here, show it a little bit better. But you have the, you can see the switch just like it would in real world. Look at the front of this switch. It looks just like this. Here, it looks more like that side, but. And see, to that switch, we also have a PC connected and a server. And if we come down here, look, we have an access point. And look, I can click on that access point. I can actually turn on and off this access point. And see, this link just went down that I turned it off. Where did my window go? Now I'm going to flip this switch here. Look, link is actually reconnecting. Packet Tracer is a great tool. There is even a Packet Tracer version for Android devices. Now, take that with a grain of salt. I don't actually know if the Android version is a true legitimate version of Packet Tracer supported by Cisco, so on and so on. But actually, if you go back in some of my previous videos, we interviewed a young man who studied and received his CCNA certification using that and actually wrote study guides to help out. Go back through my channel and take a look at it. And after the stream's over, I'll drop the link to that video in the, in the uh, description down below. So Packet Tracer is a really, really interesting tool. So another thing I want to talk about though tonight and I kind of jump in ahead of myself, is there is an alternative to, oops, I apologize there. There is an alternative to the Cisco CCNA. Say, yes, Dakota, you know, you're saying to yourself, Dakota, yes, I want to be a network technician. I want to study networking, but I can't afford the CCNA certification. The certification costs money. It is expensive. And I just can't afford to go after it right now. Well, before you completely abandon the CCNA, there's two options. If you are currently working in the IT field, check with your employer. Many employers will pay for your CCNA certification. They'll pay to advance your education in the IT field. But say you have no options, you've looked and tried to find discounted vouchers, which there is discounted vouchers out there for students, but you've tried to find discounted vouchers, you just, you can't afford it. You can't spare a penny right now. There is an other, a CCNA equivalent certification out there right now that you could get for nothing. That's right, it is completely free. And it's actually put out by Juniper. Juniper is probably the closest competitor Cisco has to a, a just a, a competitor in general. So let's go ahead and pull this up. My buddy, oh, oh, Network Chuck, put out a great video about this. So Juniper has a certification that's equivalent to the CCNA. It is called, I always forget the name, the JNCI Junos Certification. And if you sign up, I actually do believe I dropped a link to this in the um, description below. And if not, I'll make sure it's there for when you're watching this on the replay after the stream's over. But if you sign up through the, that link, and go through all the study material that Juniper has to offer and take these practice tests, they will give you a free or voucher to pay for your certification. So, another, you know, you're studying for this certification. What should you do? You should lab for that certification. This just came in the mail the other day. I bought this off of eBay the other day. Uh, and I think I ended up paying $40, which was probably $10 too many. 
but this is a juniper switch so i bought this to add to my home lab now is there an equivalent to juniper to a cisco's packet tracer for juniper not that i know of um is there e-learning platforms that have labs to offer absolutely so if you want to go the inexpensive route and you are trying to save money go for your juniper jncia juno certification like i said it is a free course and i will make sure the link to that is in the description below hi tectonic thank you for tuning in happy friday everyone so like i, I just kind of want to reiterate why labbing is so important you need to get your hands dirty when studying for the certification it's great to watch a video and learn something but until you actually do it until you actually put it to practice you're not going to retain that information you should actually practice what you are learning so KevTech, again, thank you for joining. KevTech is an awesome guy. You guys should go also check him out as well. If you're just tuning in, we are talking about labbing for your CCNA certification and the different ways to go about doing it. Now, also, really quick here, let's see if I can bring it up. Yes, Tectonic, you will be labbing one way or another, so you best get your own gear and practice. And like I said, everyone, the I, I included some links, Amazon links, uh, to the gear I used to lab for my CCNA. Um, and I still think is probably the, if you're going to buy equipment, the best equipment you can buy for your money. But like I said, don't pay a lot of money for this equipment you can get this this huge giant switch i have here this is a catalyst 3560 3560 poe switch 48 port switch this whole big high-end enterprise grade switch i don't think cost me any more than 20 bucks don't spend more than 40 bucks on a device you know you're not buying new you're buying used this isn't the fastest. This doesn't even have, I believe, gigabit speed. I think this is just a 10-100 switch. But you don't, you don't need a gigabit switch to practice on. This, you will be able to do every single command on this style switch. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I, I, I am have, I'm Amy have joined the wrong class what is the cert we are talking about the cisco ccna certification so um but i was talking about uh labbing on your own equipment don't spend a lot of money on this you can do this for dirt cheap um like i said i have put links in the description down below to the equipment i recommend i put a video out and actually here let me pull that video out you guys, after the stream's over, go check it out. I'll also put this video in the description as well. Let's see if I can pull this video up for you guys. I created a whole video about building your own home labs. Let's take a look here. I should have been ready. So, here. First of all, I'm going to share... A link to this video this is a video a link to a video i did a interview with a great young man who is only 13 years old and has already received his ccna and i think ccnp certification i might be wrong on that go check out first of all if you need some motivation you don't think you can go get your CCNA certification, watch this video because this 13 year old boy got his certification. 
Next video I'm going to link to Just bear with me. There we go. <laughs> Sorry guys. All right. This next video is build is how to build your own home lab, your CCNA home lab and all the recommendations I have. And I'm gonna give you one more video guys here. Cisco CSIN. I should have had all these links ready to go beforehand. This is a playlist of my CCNA study groups that I used to do. And those will be coming back very soon. So go check all those videos out. There's three great links there. If you are studying for your CCNA or really any network networking certification, go check out those links I just shared in the chat. I will make sure by the time the stream's over, they are all down in the comments below. So, let's get caught back up here. Hi Dakota, I sent you an email that you, sent you an email that you provided me with in order to share my IT career. Yes, Brian. Brian, we are going to bring you on the channel and we are going to talk to you. I just I've been very busy this week and haven't got a chance to reply back to you, but I will get back to you, Brian. So uh, I'm really glad I have helped you out. That is my goal here, guys. Um, you know, I'm not in this for the money, though. It'd be great to be able to support my family doing this one day. Um, but I want to help people out. You know, I want to help people succeed and enter this career field. You know, I, I feel like a broken record. I've told the story so many times, but you know, I, I, I used to be in dead end jobs. I used to, you know, I, I, I worked in production. I worked in customer service. I was a bulldozer operator. Some of those were great paying jobs, but I had no future there. They, they wore my body out. They were rough on me. I didn't see my kids. Um, it, it, it was a really hard way of earning a living and I wasn't happy at my job. I hated my job. And one day I just decided enough was enough. I wanted a, that I wanted a career in the IT field and I started studying. I found IT career questions and I owe a lot to him. I owe him tons of thanks Seriously, guys, if you, most of you who subscribe to me also subscribe to IT Career Skills, but if you don't, go check him out. IT Career Skills does great things and is a great YouTuber. Um, but I found his videos and I found a motivation to change my career path to this wonderful path. And now, three we're going on three years now and now i just got my a brand new job and i am going to be a network operation center technician i'm going to be responsible for an entire isp's internet for several cities i'm going to be the one that manages their internet provider this is a huge step in my career I first got a job as an IT support specialist with an amazing company that I enjoyed a lot. Then I got a job as a network technician because networking is my dream, is my passion. I always wanted to be in networking. And then now my next step of that career path has come true. And I really hope I get to stay with this company for the rest of my career. It's a company I can definitely see myself growing with. 
Um, I am extremely happy and thank you, uh, thankful that I've got this job. And I there's a lot to learn. And I want to bring you guys along for that journey and hopefully give you guys that motivation. That's where I was going with that ramp, rant. I want to share my excitement and motivate people to do something that they that makes them happy and that's what it is all about thank you guys i see the uh, congratulations pouring in i really appreciate it thank you kev tech uh brian thank you i will like i said i want to hear your story and i if anyone out there tuning into this live stream has a similar story to mine please let me know reach out to me and I want to share your story with the world. I want to share your journey to through IT and hopefully give someone else that motivation to keep going and keep pushing on and achieving their dream. That's what it's all about. <laughs> KevTech, thank you. Thank you. Um, I, I'm just w watching these comments come in. I, Like I said, this is what it's all about. I want to help you guys um, in any way I can. And like I said, if anyone in here has uh, has any questions, comments, um, please start dropping them in the chat. Um, you know, I have all night here, and I hope to answer every single question you guys might have. Really quick, another quick plug. If you are a subscriber, if you have followed our journey for a long time, and you haven't heard yet, we are now on Discord. So, you want more IT career skills? I'm sorry, <laughs> old, old, old name there. Want more Bearded IT Dad? Go check us out on Discord. Link is in the description below. And actually, through this weekend, we are doing a giveaway. First ever Bearded IT Dad stickers. We are giving one person a, a bearded IT dad sticker in whatever color they would like. I will custom make it once we find the winner. All you have to do is go join us over on Discord and click this little button right here to enter. Once you enter, the drawing is going to happen in one day, 20 hours, 17 minutes, and 51 seconds. But yes, go over there and enter to to win. So let's get back to the chat here. Brian, yours is so similar. Yes, Brian, I read your email and I'm going to get back to you because I am very interested to hear your story. I definitely want to bring you on the channel. KevTech, if you ever want to join... You know, maybe we can do some collabing here. You know, uh, your content's great. You have an amazing audience. Uh, you are very knowledgeable and you help out in the community so much. You help out people every single day. And uh, so you are always welcome on the channel. Let me know if you ever want to come on. So definitely just uh, let me know and we will figure out a time. So awesome guys well i am here if you have any questions uh if not you know uh go ahead and drop them in the comments below i try to make a point to get to every single comment as soon as i can sometimes it takes me a day or two to get back to you but i promise i will excuse me but yeah i am excited you know the whole the whole reason I kind of went down the Juniper path and started studying it is because I got a job where this is my second job in a row where they pretty much don't use any Cisco gear. I am a Cisco fanboy. Uh, I have Cisco Meraki cloud networking infrastructure in my office. I have a full stack deployment. I have enterprise grade firewall, switch, AP, cellular gateway, um, I have a huge setup here. I am a Cisco. I got a trophy. I got a trophy right there and a certificate, a certification a certificate right there from Cisco. And I go and land a job where they don't use any Cisco equipment. With that said, networking is networking. So 
once you have the fundamentals down, once you've breaking th- broken through that stage, you, it, it all carries over. But I want to be an expert. I strive for excellence. So that's why I went out, bought this Juniper Switch, and I made a promise to myself that by the end of next month, I will be Juniper certified. So, uh, bring, bring the trophy and show us, please. I will, actually. So, Cisco Meraki, they have an online community of people, a forum of people that help people, that help other people with problems that do brainstorming that really contribute to the Cisco Meraki product line. I used to be on there all the time because at my last two jobs ago, no, last job, anywho, we were solely a Cisco Meraki shop. Cisco Meraki is an amazing product. It's great to manage. Um, no CLI. It is really great for a small team. Uh, anyways, uh, I was nominated to become a Cisco, what's called the Cisco Meraki All-Star. Uh, Cisco Meraki All-Star is someone who's contributed back to the community in ways no one else has. There's actually, I think, only about 25 people selected worldwide every year to become a Cisco Meraki All-Star. In 2021, I was one of those people. So I, uh, and I was actually a cohort. I didn't get in at the beginning of the year, um, but I did get in about halfway through the year and was not and nominated and became one of the Cisco Meraki community all-stars. So this is my cool little trophy long. There's a bunch of swag. There's a water bottle, battery bank, glass, lanyard socks. These are cool. I have Cisco Meraki socks. Um, that, that is just one of the coolest things ever. Um, but yeah. So, and again, just like here on YouTube, my goal was to learn as much as I could, could uh, be the product expert and help out as many people as I could. Um, so... Yeah, it's uh, it's really cool. So, uh, Brian, share. I want to share the story that uh, LPI has shared official materials to study for Linux certifications, and it's free. Uh, Brian, hit me up in Discord, and I will get that information out there. So, uh, be sharing your certification. It'd be so great to share your certification. Uh, it's they're a pain to get off that brick wall, so I'm not gonna take those down. But pretty much, there is my a, uh, CompTIA A plus certification, and that there is my Cisco CMNO Cisco Meraki Network Operator certificate. Um, and I've actually am I was in the 13th class ever in the world, and took. Cisco Meraki's new training. Actually, I they I had to fly down to San Francisco, California, to study for this training or to take a a week long course there. So, it, it was really cool. Kevtech hard work pays off. It does, um, and it takes a lot of sacrifice. Um, you know, there I I, I live a busy life. Um, I have a wife and three children. Um, an eight year old, a seven year old and a th- four year old. Now, um, my wife runs a full-time business literally on the other side of this wall from me here in our office space. Um, I work full time. I have this YouTube channel among four others technically. Um, so needless to say, I, I, there, I am busy, um, most every day uh, there's very little me time um and there's very little us time for my wife but i couldn't have done it without her uh she had my back through my whole journey 
through leaving my high paying job at the mill uh, to jump out into the unknown, get a job two and a half hours away from her family, from my family. Um, I couldn't have done it without her support. Um, so it's, 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 there's, it's been very rewarding. There's been a lot of sacrifice, but it's all coming back around. Um, you know, now that I, once I got that experience under my belt, we were able to move back, be close to family. Um, I just landed really one of my dream jobs again. Uh, you know, um, you know, I said that about my, my very first job. I thought it was my dream job and it was, it was a great job. Um, corporate jets, company Porsches, um, company Mercedes, um, you know, high end hotels. It, it was the life free, free beer every night. You know, what, what job not only allows you to drink, but gives you free beer every night. I mean, that, that sounds like a paradise, right? Um, and it was a great job, but I need to be back with family. So I left, um, got a job as a network technician and now that's led to becoming a knock technician and be really being the person in charge of, um, a knock, which is a really, well, it's nerve wracking, but really exciting, exciting. <laughs> oh, free beer. Yes. Um, yeah, it, it was a pretty cool perk. Um, over the, the free beer, though, the the corporate jets, flying on corporate jets, that's something that not a lot of people get to do. And uh, my, my company had three different jets, and I got to ride, uh, fly on them quite often. So that was, that was really cool. Um, now that I've left that company, I will probably one day do a story about it. Um, but, yeah. It, 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 it was great, but yes, hard work. Um, you know, it, it was no free ride getting there. Um, but it's achievable for anyone. If I could do it and you know, I, I felt like I've harped on this string as well, a bunch with no degree, no certifications, no prior work experience. If I can land that amazing of a job, you can too. So again, I just want to motivate everyone. Uh, Robert, I ended up quitting my job, quitting my data center job for a Chinese company due to a toxic and work work environment. Did I mess up? Not one bit. Um, I think almost every person has been there. And at the end of the day, you have to do what's best for you and your family. Um, Toxic work environment is about one of the worst things you can have in this world. Um, I've been there. I've, I, to be honest with you, I am there now as I'm exiting my current company to go to this brand new wonderful job. Toxic work environment. The problem with it is it spills over into your personal life and it controls you and it just destroys you. Um, and you made the right decision by getting out. And I, anyone who finds themselves in a toxic work environment, you know, you might not be able to just jump ship and, you know, you financially, but don't stick, you know, don't put up with it. Don't, there is plenty of jobs out there for you. If you got your experience, you know, that's what matters. Go find something that really makes you happy. You know, I, I just spent the last couple minutes rambling about how wonderful my very first employer was corporate jets, Porsches, Mercedes, all that. But to every fairy tale, there's a dark side. Um, you know, and I haven't really talked about that, but there was dark times um, I spent over three months on the road away from my very young children. Um, luckily I was lucky enough to be home on weekends. Um, and you know what? I don't fault my supervisor one bit because it was out of his control. I, 
my supervisor at my old job and was one of the best supervisors I have ever met. Um, there's dark times. Um, you know, I was gone. Like I said, th- this happened on more than one occasion and almost served both times. I was on the verge of just walking out. Um, I think it was actually more than twice. I think there was three times where I was done. I was in tears. I was crying. I was talking to my wife on the phone. And I, I just, no amount of the money, no amount in the of money in the world is worth it. Uh, so I feel for you, Robert. Um, you know, no one should have to go through that. Everyone has the right to do what makes them happy. This is the second data center job where both companies have been really toxic. I'm thinking data center job is the data center job culture. I, I, I can, I cannot speak to that being, I've never worked in data, a data center and I don't know anyone who has, um, worked in a true big data center. So I don't want to say yes, that's the case because I am sure there's plenty of people. If, if, if anyone in the chat currently knows if someone works in a data center, chime in and let me know, you know, if this has been your experience, because I am, I can almost guarantee you there is plenty of data centers out there that this is not the case, but maybe it is, it is time for you to try to find a different field, a different, not a different field, a different sector in this field. Um, unless this is your dream to work in a data center. Um, you know, I, I never really had interest in working in a data center. My interest has always been in networking. Um, Brian, thank you for uh, chiming in there. Um, You know, I should take that back. I do know someone who worked in a data center. Um, And he he enjoyed it. Uh, It was just a short-term contract. But, uh, you know, really, I, I think at this point, it's just a sign you need to follow your passion, what you actually want to do in life. Um, every company has its ups and downs. Yes, KevTech, um, but it shouldn't be toxic. Um, you know, find what makes you happy. I'm having a really time, hard time moving as data center tech. I'm having a really time, hard time moving as a data center tech to help desk. I have an A+. Plus. They're really not impressed with my data center experience. You know, I, I, I find that hard to believe. You know, I don't, I'm not, I'm not trying to say it's hard to believe. An A plus is a great certification and should really get your foot in the door to any help desk job. And the fact that you actually have experience working with technology is a huge plus. I, you know, you, you, I think you just need to keep on applying, applying, apply for everything that interests you. Um, Robert, my question to you is, are you getting res or interviews? Are you, are you, are you just applying and not hearing anything back? Um, that's what I'd be kind of curious. Are you, yeah, putting yourself out there, applying for jobs and not getting interviews or are you getting interviews and not getting jobs? Let me know. Uh, Brian, my job there was just to check racks, power supplies, and it was not as good as my current, excuse me, guys, current one. Make sure to work on your resume. Yeah, that's where I was actually heading, KevTech, um, because a resume is everything. Uh, I was applying for tons of jobs. And with what I thought was a stellar resume and I was getting nowhere. I, and I, I didn't understand. I I'm like, I have two years of experience in the field. I have cer- certifications. Why am I not even getting a call for these interviews? I should be the first candidate on the list. And then I rewrote my resume. I cleaned it up. I got rid of some of the clutter and boom, I had people calling me, you know, offering me jobs, you know, um, offering me positions, wanting, wanting to interview me for jobs I hadn't even applied for. All of a sudden people were interested in me 
And it was all I did was change my resume. And I, I plan on doing a resume building video here and probably a live stream as well. I've done one of those in the past, but um, just not quite ready for it. So KevTech, Brian, you are absolutely right. Robert, I would recommend going over your resume and you know maybe talk to your local unemployment department it might be a little difficult right now with covid but a lot of times they can hook you up with resume building experts um you know i don't believe in those resume templates out there but you know i think your resume is what you need to work on um i get phone calls they always ask if i have active directory experience and i say no uh, Robert, Active Directory is not that difficult. I, 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 I say that with a grain of salt um, because my very first job in the IT field, I was a um, IT support specialist. I had no, I, had, I applied for the job, I interviewed, and I immediately turned around and called my brother-in-law and said, I don't know what Active Directory is. What? what do I do this job? They want active directory. And I, I I'm scared that I'm going to start and don't know what to do. And he said, bro, relax. Active directory is simple. And it really is because all in all honesty at the help desk level, the most you'll probably do is reset a password for a user or create a user account. And, and it is really simple to use. Active directory is nothing to be scared of. Um, KevTech, yeah, absolutely. Build a home lab and learn Active Directory. You can set up a virtual machine on your computer, um, VMware, uh, VirtualBox, and get a evaluation license of Windows Server, an ISO image, and install Windows and use Active Directory. And there's tons of resources out there to learn Active Directory. And that way you can say you know Active Directory. Um, if, if that's what's holding you back, Go tackle it. It's you can do it for free. It doesn't cost you a dime. Um, you know, like I said, you know, spin up a VM, um, install Windows on it, set up Active Directory, join your home computers to the domain, um, and have experience with that. That is a great way to do it. Um, KevTech, if you have any recommendation on study material please uh feel free to drop it in the chat if it's whether it's videos to other youtubers or yourself um if you've had any write-ups or anyone else um drop it in the chat you know you know if if you're worried about if, if you think your active directory experience is holding you back don't let that be the case go after that there's tons of resources out there I'm in the process of doing that, but ha I have bills to pay. Only place that offers me a job on the spot are other data centers. You know, Robert, if you want to try to go after that, you can. Um, and, you know, and there's a good chance that other data centers won't be toxic. Um, you know, I, I understand where you're coming from, having to pay the bills. I'd be worried about jumping from job to job. And what that might look like on your resume. So. Uh, so. Th that would be one of my concerns. KevTech. You can spin. Uh, you can learn Active Directory in a lab environment. Spin up a server. On a VM and practice it. Absolutely. Brian. Google Cloud Machines. Free. Not that bad. Not quite sure. How about the Google IT Support Professional Certificate? Brian, I I don't know, to be honest with you, about that certificate. I heard about it in the past. It's not unheard of. Nowhere near as valuable as an A+. And if you have an A+, don't even bother with the Google uh, IT Support Professional Certificate. It is, a, it is not a well-known certificate. KevTech, thank you for dropping that link in the chat. Robert, go check out that playlist. I trust KevTech. Go learn Active Directory. 
Um, it is, don't be intimidated. It is a great resource. Again, thank you, Kev Tech, for being on here and being another great resource to the community. Um, I have the utmost respect for you. It covers Windows 10 and Active Directory, which is nowadays what you see the most on help desk um is w doing stuff with windows 10 and active directory um you probably won't even really touch windows servers that much so brian you have the a plus and the google cert Brian, I want to hear your opinion, and maybe you will save this for when you're on my stream um, or on the channel. Uh, which which certificate did you think was better? Which one was more difficult? Which one covered more topics? A plus is better for sure. Okay, that, that's what I thought. Um, like I said, I haven't looked into the Google IT support professional certificate. Gosh, that's a mouthful to say tonight. But... Um, I, I, I don't really think it's a super strong um, certificate um, and very little employers have it out there or, you know, are looking for it. I should say we could actually really quick do a job search. Let's look for that really quick. I am curious now. Okay. So we're going to pull up Indeed here. And now we'll actually go worldwide, the World Wide Web. Okay. So let's take a look here. Who, when I search for the Google IT Support Professional Certificate, there is only 45 jobs nationwide. Or page one of 45 jobs. Now, I have a good feeling most of these are not entry-level IT Support Coordinator, IT Service Deck Technician, Temporary Seasonal, Technical Support Associate, You know, I, yeah, I'm just not feeling that's a very sought after certification. IT network administrator. That's, that's kind of interesting, but I'm wondering, let's take a look at this actual job description. See right here, they're looking for the CompTIA A plus MCP, a CCNA, a bachelor's degree, which that's, I won't go on this rant about a bachelor's degree this evening, but. Um, I think most of these jobs are coming up just from relevant search terms, IT support, but for, for giggles here, let's search the CompTIA can't talk, type and talk. A plus. 2,761 jobs cut came up nationwide when I put the A plus in here. And look, these look like actual real jobs here. IT technician, 19 to 23 dollars an hour. Uh, technical instructor, network operations center technician, multiple openings. Uh, retail, I, A plus computer tech. Technology support coordinator. There is actual jobs out there. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> kind of went off on a rant there. Uh, sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, A plus definitely for sure over the Google search. So, Robert, I, I really hope you, uh, I really hope you learn Active Directory and can find an, a great job um, here quick. Um, uh, you know, I, I hope that you don't for you know you don't have to go back to the, uh, the data center. Um, it sounds like you're unhappy there. Um, you know, 
I, I, I really, really hope. And if you have any other questions, feel free to drop a comment. Um, I'm curious, and I don't remember, Brian, or sorry, not Brian, uh, Robert. Did you say you, you, yeah, you did have your A+. plus. So, but yeah, absolutely. So if anyone else has any chat, uh, questions, comments, or concerns, <laughs> please feel free to drop them in the chat. Um, you know, this evening we were talking about labbing for your CCNA certificate. Um, yeah, CCNA certification. So, sorry, I was reading the comments there. I guess squirreled, squirreled a little too easy there. <laughs> Just need to learn Active Directory, and he'll be good. Yes, absolutely. I, I, I agree with that, KevTech. Again, thank you guys, for everyone, for joining into the live stream. If you're watching this on the replay and you have any questions that come up, make sure and drop them in the comments below. I try to get back to everyone. Drop them in the comments below. Go over and check out our Discord. Uh, you can find us on there. Go over to Facebook. We are on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Ask us any questions anywhere, and we will make sure and get back to you. Brian, I am going to make sure and get you on one of these next upcoming live streams or just have a video chat with you, one or the other, what, whatever you would prefer if you want to be on live or just uh, be recorded. So let me know. You too, KevTech. I'm going to hold you to that. You said you're going to come on the channel. So... All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to get ready to wrap this up. It's been a great evening. I, I, I'm really appreciative of you guys. Like I said, I am here to support you in anything you need. And, uh, yeah. Yes, I will let you know, KevTech. Absolutely. Let's see here. If you guys don't know already... We are actually over on Twitch. We are streaming not only on YouTube, but we are streaming on Twitch as well. So you can find us on your preferred streaming platform, YouTube or Twitch. Or if you have another platform you'd rather intake our content on, let us know and we will look into streaming on that platform as well. So, all right, guys. Well, thank you. I really hope this video was informative for you. And if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Until next time, take it easy.